Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on fractional indices. This is lesson two, part two, and um, you need to make sure you've watched lesson one because we're going to build on what we've learned in that video. So if you haven't watched part one, please watch that first. Right, let's begin. So in the last lesson, uh, we learned things like squared. So three squared, we learned meant three times three, which is nine. Now we're going to try and do powers on fractions and see what happens then. So say we had a fraction like um, 4 over 5 squared. All we've got to do is square both of the numbers in the fraction. So 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16 on the top. And 5 squared, 5 times 5 is 25 on the bottom. So it's quite simple really. All you've got to do is square the top and bottom numbers of the fraction. But let's have a go at a slightly harder one now. Let's do one with a minus power. So let's have a go at, say, 3 over 4 to the power of minus 2. Well, firstly, let's do 3 over 4 without the minus. So 3 over 4 squared. Square the top number, square the bottom number. So 3 times 3 is 9 on the top. 4 times 4 is 16 on the bottom. So that's what it would be if it wasn't minus. Now, in the video last time, I told you that every time you get a minus, you do 1 over. And with a fraction, what that means is the fraction will just swap round. The top and the bottom will swap round. So 3 over 4 to the minus 2 will become 16 on the top and 9 on the bottom. So it's the other way round. So that's what minuses do with fractions. Right, let's have a go at some more questions. Well, we learnt last lesson what cubed meant. So say we had something like 2 cubed. We learnt that that meant 2 times 2 times 2, which in this case is 8. So now we're going to apply that to fractions. So say we had 2 over 5 cubed. Well, just like we did in the previous question, we do the cube to the top and the bottom of the fraction. So 2 cubed on the top is 8. And 5 cubed on the bottom is 125. 5 times 5 times 5. So it's quite easy, just doing it to top and the bottom of the fraction. Now let's have a go at one with a minus. So let's do 2 over 5 to the minus 3. So we're doing 2 over 5 to the minus 3. So like we did in the previous question, we firstly do 2 over 5 without the minus. So 2 over 5 to the power of 3. That would be 2 times 2 times 2 on the top, which is 8. 5 times 5 times 5 on the bottom, which is 125. So if it was minus cubed, so 2 over 5 to the minus 3, we just change the fraction round because that's what the minus does. So this would be 125 over 8. Right, so that's how you do with cubed and minus cubed. And it's the same with square roots. We're just following the same rules here to get it all done. So another example would be 9 over 25 to the power of half. So we learned in the previous video that the power of half means square root. So the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of 25 is 5. So you're just following the rules on the top and the bottom of the fraction. So if the question was 9 over 25, to the power of minus a half, then the minus changes the fraction round, so it would be 5 on the top and 3 on the bottom. Right, so that's fractions and doing powers on them. Now we can make the questions just a little bit harder by doing questions with fractional powers. So here's the next example I want to do. 25 to the power of 3 over 2. Right. This is where it gets just a bit trickier because we have to do a couple of things. So the power of 3 over 2 we haven't seen yet, but we break it up into two parts. Firstly, I'm looking at the 2 on the bottom. Now the 2 on the bottom of the fraction is the same as when we've been square rooting across the page. So when we square root, that's what we do first. We're going to do the bottom of the fraction first. So 25, if I square root it, I will get 5. And don't forget, the top of the fraction is still there, a 3. So that's 5 to the power of 3 now. And we know what 5 to the power of 3 is. 5 times 5 times 5 is 125. Let's do another example like that. Say I had 9 to the power of minus 3 over 2. 
Well, firstly, I'm going to do 9 to the power of 3 over 2. So we get rid of the minus first. So it's got a 2 on the bottom of the fraction, which means square root. So we do that first. The square root of 9 is 3. And the top number of the fraction is a 3. So it's to the power of 3 as well. 3 to the power of 3 is 3 times 3 times 3, which is 27. So 9 to the power of 3 over 2 is 27. So 9 to the power of minus 3 over 2 would be 1 over 27. Because when it's not a fraction, it's still 1 over. Right, let's go through another example. Uh, with a 3 on the bottom of the fraction this time. So say we had 125 to the power of 2 over 3. Well, the 3 is on the bottom of the fraction. That means cube root. So the cube root of 25, we learned in the last video, is just 5. And the top number of the fraction is a 2, which means squared. So this is 5 squared, which equals 25. So it follows on from that, that 125 to the power of minus 2 over 3 would be 1 over 25. So the minus means 1 over here. Right, so I've gone through quite a few questions there, some tricky stuff. You might need to watch the video again to make sure you know it all. And I've got some practice questions here for you to have a go at. Pause the video while you're doing the questions. In a minute, I'm going to bring up the answers. So I'm going to bring up the answers now. Here they are. 